going everybody, Burt Bryan here and welcome to episode 6 of the Hot Sauce Underground's Top Sauce Competition. If this is the first episode you're watching, please be sure to go back and watch episodes 1 through 5 first so you have an idea of what's happened so far and what all the rules are. But for this episode today, we are down to the final four sauces. Now what we're going to do is the same routine I've been doing so far. I'm going to review three sauces and then tomorrow will be the final sauce and during the time that I normally take to clear my palate for the next sauce uh, I will take that time to score that sauce and then I will give to you the winner of this competition so uh, without wasting too much more time let's go ahead and get into this I know there's only four left but we're still going to do the uh, you know randomly pulling three numbers out one two and three so today's sauces are going to be number five, number six, and number 20. Five, six, and 20. I have two of those ingredient lists. So we've got those there. And here we have number five, number six, and number 20. All right. Uh, let's see. We'll go ahead and start with lowest to high like I've been doing uh, before. So we'll start with number five. Be sure to give it a good shake. Mix all those yummy ingredients up. And what do we have on aroma? It's got a very good aroma. I'm picking up like something like... There's got to be some kind of alcohol in that one. I know I said that the last time, but I swear I'm picking up some kind of an alcohol tone coming through. And I'm definitely getting uh, the rosemary smell. Wow, interesting. Uh, the ingredients on number five, of course, we've got the five main ingredients. Uh, we also have almond. That's another aroma I couldn't place was a nutty smell. Okay, so almond. Uh, there's strawberry, apple, orange, garlic, salt, brown sugar, and brandy. So interesting. All right, so there was some kind of liquor in there. Okay, let's uh, let's go ahead and give this one a taste. I like the way the ingredients sound. It does have a good smell. I'm actually a big fan of uh, almond sauces. The consistency on this uh, is a, a good consistency. You'll be see you'll uh, see it much better here, of course. Uh, off to the side, but a uh, very nice consistency. I'm seeing a few chunks in there. Nothing wrong with that. All right, let's give this a taste. Mm. Wow. A very interesting explosion of flavor there. Um, it's a, a very weird combination that actually works really well. But again, that nutty uh, almond flavor is kind of like a, a dominating uh, you know, taste that I get through at the beginning. Um, by the end, you get all the sweetness of the orange. Um, the brandy does come through in just a touch, and the heat on this is very good. At first, uh, the mouth just lit up and as soon as the sauce went in. But again, it's not, uh, you know, burn your face off uh, hot at all. It's just a really good level burn. Um, of course, then again, my tolerance might be getting higher as I do three of these a day. Um, but uh, it, it's just got a really nice burn. I'm curious what peppers were used in this one because I don't think I had them on the list. Um, but you do get the apple. There is that uh, strawberry touch. So in a sense, it's a lot like a jam. Um, I'm tasting the ginger. It's really good. Great, great combination of flavor on this one. I definitely enjoy it. Um, wow. Uh, again, the burn isn't overbearing at all. I liked the consistency. There were a couple of chunks in there, but they were soft chunks. Um, so it was good. It had a nice uh, syrupy kind of uh, consistency to it overall. So great job, number five. Awesome tasting sauce all around. This competition is going to be very hard. Uh, I can tell you right now that there are uh, a few sauces that are very, very close in score. Uh, again, if there are any ties uh, at the end, I will choose my favorite out of those. But uh, anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and do the normal drill. I'm going to take a couple seconds to clean the palate and let the burn go down a little bit. And then, and, uh, 
And then we'll jump in and do number six. Ah, welcome back. Okay, it looks like the burn has gone down. It's been uh, roughly, I think about six to eight minutes. Really good burn on it. It was, uh, again, not overbearing. Doesn't blow your face off, but it was a nice heat given the uh, in comparison or contrast to the flavor. So good job again, number five. Uh, I will put down my book by John Jantz, which is autographed. Uh, it's just a great business book if you want to learn a little bit about how to make your business better. Definitely pick up a copy. Okay, it's time to go on to number six in this selection here. This one had quite a journey getting here. I believe it uh, it got stuck at the post office for uh, probably about two weeks almost, it seemed. Um, and uh, I thank you for sending in a second one to me. Uh, so now I have that one in my collection that's added in there. Uh, so let's go ahead and give this a shake. Cut it open and we'll see what we can pick up on Aroma. That smells really good. What is that aroma I'm picking up? God, I can't place it, but it smells really good. It almost smells like a, a candy or something. Let me see what the ingredients are in this one. Pineapple is definitely what I'm picking up some of. Okay, so we've got fresh pineapple in this. There's pomegranate infused red wine vinegar, which is cool. Uh, it's got the 100% uh, pomegranate juice. We've got Hawaiian honey, fresh ginger, fresh rosemary, the Guinness World Record Carolina Reaper pepper. We've got white vinegar, water, sugar, and spice, and everything nice. Awesome. We definitely love sugar and spice and everything nice. Cool. Uh, actually, give me just one second. I have to run, grab something to um, uh, poke it down. It's not, there's something blocking it. Hold on one second. All right, sorry about that. Let's go ahead and give this another shake. Now that the obstruction is cleared, let's give it a pour here. Very thick consistency on it. That's the only downside I'm seeing right now is that, that it's uh, uh, not much pourability to it. Again, there's nothing wrong with thick sauces. I generally prefer uh, thick sauces just, you know, for the competition, we're just kind of trying to have a, a good medium, uh, middle of the line consistency. It's definitely a really thick, thick sauce. Again, the smell is great. It, is, it really almost smells like um, some kind of candy or chocolate or something that I've had recently with fruit. Just something that smells uh, really, really good. Let's give it a taste. Interesting. Um, very good. The uh, rosemary is coming through really strong on that one. Um, again, that's a very uh, hard dominating flavor to, to really push down, but what I like is that the pineapple is there. Uh, again, the consistency is just a little bit too thick uh, as far as, you know, the medium level that we're trying to look for for this competition. Um, but you know it's a good soft consistency when you chew um i think that some of that's probably coming from the uh, pineapple could be the pomegranate too the well they use the juice instead of the pineapple um, but very good it's sweet uh definitely has a very mild burnout you know i saw carolina reapers and started to think all right this is going to blow my face off or melt me but uh, it's really not at all super hot it's just got a a good all-around mouth burn, a little bit on the lips, but nothing at all crazy. Very smooth sauce. I, I enjoy the flavor of this one a lot. Um, it's, it's, again, what you really dominatingly taste is a mix of fruit, uh, which would be the pineapple and the pomegranate coming together with the uh, rosemary that kind of has that dominating flavor. And I think there's the touch of ginger that comes through as well. Uh, another great sauce. Very good, number six. I, I like this one a lot. I appreciate you sending it out to me. Um, excellent, excellent flavor. I can even see 
a little piece or two of the uh, of a reaper pepper in there. So awesome, uh, very good. I'm telling you, this is not going to be an easy competition for me to judge at all. Okay, we've got uh, one more sauce to go. So you know the drill. We're gonna take a couple minutes. Let me uh, let the, get the whole flavor out of my mouth, and we'll be right back. Chili Express. All right, it is time to go to the last sauce for today, which is number 20. Don't have an ingredient list on this one, so we're just going to take some guesses and uh, see what flavors we have. And I gotta say, the burn on that last one was really nice. What I liked about it uh, from number six is was that it was a long, lingering burn, but it wasn't, um, you know, anything. Oh, you know, melt your face off again. It wasn't incredibly hot. It just had a really nice, long-lasting, uh, mild burn. So let's go ahead and try number twenty here. What do we have with aroma? Ooh, I'm really smelling peppers come through on this one and vinegar as well. Like, uh, definitely picking up white distilled vinegar. Maybe I could be wrong. Interesting. Not getting a whole lot of flavor, or, uh, sorry, a whole lot of notes on aroma. Like I said, I'm picking up a strong chili flavor, uh, chili aroma, and uh, vinegar. I have a feeling this one's going to be pretty hot. The consistency is more on the fluid side. There we go. Give it a nice big spoonful. And let's taste. vinegar on that one. A whole lot of, a uh, whole lot of vinegar. Uh, that's pretty much a dominating flavor to me. This is like a, it's like a Louisiana style sauce. Um, I mean, to be quite honest, it tastes a lot like, um, uh, one of those name brand, I'm not going to name any name brands, but one of those large name brand, uh, Louisiana style sauce, I exactly like it. Um, not really picking up a whole lot of um, other flavors other than the vinegar. It's just so powerful and dominating. I guess I am getting some of the chili flavor as well. Um, and there has to be a good bit of chilies in this one. My whole mouth is lit up. My lips especially have a good burn and tingle to them. So, um, you know, maybe I don't know if there's habs in there or what, but very, very strong heat on this one to me. It's just, um, it's not one of my favorites, I'll admit. It's a great sauce all around, especially if you're a fan of Louisiana style sauces that are high in vinegar content. With this one, I mean, I can feel the vinegar and the burn as it's going down to my stomach. Again, uh, to me, the burn uh, is, I guess it's, it's, uh, it's adequate or comparable to the flavor of the sauce because, you know, it is very, very strong, dominating uh, vinegar flavor. And then the heat is just incredibly hot. I mean, uh, it's not too hot for me, obviously. I'm, I can handle it just fine, but just the lips are, are really singing out. So it makes me really wonder. Habaneros to me tend to have that very stingy, you know, like thousand needle burn. Um, Great sauce though, number 20. Thank you for sending it in. I appreciate it. Um, if you're going to tweak the recipe at all, one thing I could suggest would be maybe tone down some of that vinegar. I don't, you know, I don't even taste red wine vinegar, so I, it may be in there, but to me it just has a strong distilled vinegar taste. Um, but, uh, but again, thank you for sending it in. I appreciate it. Uh, that's it for today, folks. We've got one more episode, which should be done tomorrow, although I may make you wait one extra day. Uh, just to make sure I get all the scoring right and that I have the format set up. But, um, yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. This has been a whole lot of fun. I think we're going to be trying to work on a second, um, you know, competition here sometime very soon for the group. 
Uh, of course, I will take a couple weeks off and uh, I've got to get back and start doing some of my regular reviews uh, this week. So, anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying the series so far. And I look forward to announcing the winner in the next episode. So, thanks for watching again. And as always, stay toasty, my friends.